Look at those rocks at the top of that that cliff up there. Those are definitely man placed. And you got this little mushroom looking thing. Look what we found. It took us a little bit to get here. Oh look at the, the details on this one. They got like a stone door right there, a couple of them. What's up guys, we're back out on the trails again. Well, there actually it really isn't a trail on this hike. This is probably the most remote hike that I've ever done to any sort of dwelling. Just a bit out here. We had to go on 10 miles of snow covered dirt roads to get out here off of the highway. And uh, this particular hike that I'm going to, like many of these dwellings, they don't even have trails that go to them. So I'm hoping my GPS will, will stay up and work out here. And we're gonna have a good day today. It's gonna be really fun. The dog's excited. There's, I thought there was gonna be a little bit more snow than there is, so it's not too bad. I like it. You just gotta be a little bit careful walking on the, the snow covered rocks, but we'll be all right. I'll show you guys some cool stuff when we get there. Stick around. All right, we're maybe a mile, mile and a half into the hike. Again, there's no trail out here. We're following a mountain line for a little ways. Some big tracks, and they, it must have been running because the strides were like eight, 10 feet apart from each other. I think this is the canyon we're looking for. We need to go all, all the way over onto that other side of it. I think we do. I want to pull up my GPS coordinates and kind of see where we're at. But I will show you guys some of these cliff dwellings once we find them. We're going to need to find a way to get down there really quick. I'm going to look down over into this alcove over here. See if there's anything in it. I'm not seeing anything in it. But we'll have to figure out a way to get down here. And like I said, I think where we're going is actually over here. We're just going to keep on wandering the desert and the snow up until we find what we're looking for. I have no doubt in my mind we're going to be able to find it. I have no doubt in my mind we'll be able to get back without any problems. I trust in my navigation skills and and yeah I think this is the point that we want to look for. Now we just got to find a way to get down. Look how beautiful this canyon is. Now we just got to figure out a way to get down there. I think we want to head to this rock right there. This is about, I don't know, I think we could probably go down right here, but I want to kind of look around before we commit to anyone just to make sure we're taking the right path and we're going down the, the safest way possible and uh, a way that we can get back up. So we'll go check it out a little bit up over here. We'll backtrack just a little bit. And then if not, that looked like a, a decent spot to go down. But like I said, I want to make sure that we're finding the safest route possible for both me and the dog to get down and also to get back up. So we surveyed around a little bit. This might be our best bet to go down here. Got this like little natural cave looking thing there. I don't think this is too far for the dog to get down. Let's see, I'll have to help her. All right, I got the dog down. She was whining a little bit, but I had to kind of pick her up a little bit to carry her down here. And uh, hopefully this rock doesn't move on me right here. Okay, we made it down. We'll have to see if there's any more of these cliffs that we're gonna have to traverse down. But, I don't know, maybe. Looks like there's gonna be another one, at least right here. So, look how pretty this is, uh, so cool. What a canyon. So I made it down here. My dog, unfortunately, couldn't make it down. And she injured like one of her toes. It was bleeding, so I think she got, got her nail stuck on something and pulled it back a little bit. So she's being a good girl. I can spot her from where I'm at now. And she'll just sit there until I'm done. I told her to stay there, which is actually pretty good. So I don't have to worry about her getting up into like the dwellings. Look at those rocks at the top of that, that cliff up there. Those are definitely man placed. So let's see what's all over here. Yeah, there's some dwellings up at the top of that. How cool is that? got this little mushroom looking thing. A 
that's pretty cool. You got this giant canyon over here. Again, you got that mushroom rock right there. Look what we found. This took us a little bit to get here. A lot of exploring. Like there's a pictograph right there, right at the very start of them. So you got that guy. Let's see what it goes back up into in here. It's just a little cave. An old pictograph right there. And then over here, check out these dwellings. Doesn't get much better than this. Look how cool that is. That's so rad. So you got one. Oh, look at the, the details on this one. They got like a stone door right there, a couple of them. There's another window. How cool. Here's another one. A pretty big one. Just little tiny windows. Look at the, the details on this. I don't think I've ever seen that before. The little details like that. That's super nice. That's so cool. And it's big, big back in there. Let's see if there's anything else that's over here a little bit. Come back around this way. Here they are again. There's a whole bunch of them. So, check out these pictographs right here. The big horn sheep. There's two of them. There's the big guy and the little guy. And they're just hanging out, having a good old time. It wasn't too bad of a hike to get out here. There were some challenging parts, but the dog and I, we stuck with it. Totally able to do it pretty cleanly. And yeah, totally worth it. Um, no control to get out here, a lot of snow. But I just used the GPS on my phone and followed that and I was good to go. I think there might be some cliff dwellings over on this end. I'm not exactly sure. But I know I still have one more I can make it to on the other side of that little hill. I was just looking over here and I saw some stacked rocks right here. So I wonder if this is where it's at. Oh yeah, there was definitely a dwelling. It looks like this may have fallen on it at one point. There's a little room right there. That's cool. We'll come back up around this way. Those other cliff ones are right up there. The ruins are on top of that boulder up there too. And we'll just have a look up over here. I thought I saw like a frozen waterfall. It's so pretty here. So pretty. Be careful. Yeah, there's the frozen waterfall right over here. Definitely don't want to walk next to the cliff right now. Check that out. That's cool. Something you don't see every day. This beautiful canyon. All right, we're going to head back. <laughs> 